Hi, I'm Mary Stover, and I'm here at the Community Church at Ocean Pines with Maud Smith. She's the administrative assistant uh, for the church and to the pastor, and uh, just want to get a little idea of what all duties Maud does here at the church. I know she's constantly busy. Maud, when did you start being the administrative assistant? It was October 2015. Okay, so you've been here quite a bit. Yep. Probably saw lots of changes and things going on. Uh, what are your primary duties uh, that you have here? Um, well, I'm the first person a lot of times people see when they walk in the door. So I greet people, answer phones, do the bulletins. Um, a lot of behind the scenes, I schedule the calendar for people wanting rooms or people coming in give information from the cemetery to weddings to our church service hours so in other words i'm the book of knowledge of the right church. you're the go-to person you know if anyone anything uh right. i expect even the pastor and you know other staff members are coming to you asking right. questions right i keep all the words for the church from baptism to the directory, which is always. Mm -hmm. What do you like best about your job? I'm a people person. During COVID, it was you got phone calls that you never expected. Mm -hmm. I got one. The lady's husband had committed suicide the night before because they had Oof. no money, no food. And if they would have just called, even though the pantry wasn't open, we could have opened up the pantry on an emergency, got them the food, got them the money for the rent, and just, it was a big, Big heartache day. Yeah, heartbreaking. It, it it is. Some of the calls you get are just overwhelming. They really are. But then there's there's the fun aspects to. I mean, we laugh a lot in the office, mm -hmm. and you know, the funny things people say. And I start one person called out. And she said, I'm so depressed. And I said, okay. And I've been trained as a Stephen minister and as a Stephen leader, and I've taken the United Methodist course on caregiving. And um, she called up, she said, I can't look at a newspaper again. There's nothing funny in it, nothing. So it got my mind rolling. I, I'm the person in the office that thinks outside of the box. And um, so I thought, gee, maybe I'll do a, a blog newspaper. And the first part of it is, has something with a Bible quote or, I've lived all over the world. My husband mm -hmm. was in the military, so we lived in Thailand and Germany, and we visited all of Europe, and we've been to Israel. And so sometimes I throw in little bits about our lives and what we've done and funny things. And I thought, well, I'll see how it goes. Well, sent out the first one, didn't hear back, and I thought, well, shouldn't have done it sent out the second one, and I got 10 responses. Oh, this is great, you know, and then about a month or so ago, I was thinking of stopping it. And everyone said, no, you can't stop, because now everybody is looking forward, okay, what did the Smith family do here? You know, mm -hmm. what are we doing there? But it, I'm a people person, so I love this job. I've worked for, um, international corporations, I've worked for multimillionaires, and I've worked for mom and pop businesses, I worked for the chief of chaplains for the Northern NATO District for four years, and this is comfortable. 
I was called out of retirement by a parishioner who was a sorority sister of mine at the University of Maryland College Park. And she said, Mon, I have a job for you. It's only a couple hours a week. I said, OK, I'll come out of retirement for that. Well, now it's like 40 hours <laughs> right. a week. But I still love the job. And, and you're working for God also, I, so right, you've got a that, good employer there. <laughs> that, that, I think, in fact, for the chief of chaplain's job, there was about five or six of us that put in for the job, but I was the only one that at the end it said, why do you think you, you know, would do good in this job? And I put down, because I'm a Christian. He was looking through and he saw that and he threw all the others in the trash can and there I was. But I've, I've really enjoyed it. I really have working here. Well, you have a job that, you know, really the church couldn't function, <laughs> you know, without, uh, without your job. Is there, do you need, uh, can volunteers help you in any way or? Well, I have one volunteer that helps me with the bulletins, but because of the new copier, I mean, it's cut the time in half of, for the bulletins, and she was so surprised because she helped me before that it was like, oh my goodness, I'm out of here in 45 minutes, you know, and it used to take like three and a half hours mm -hmm. to do bulletins. So, and I'm, I really love, and I'm going to give a plug here, the Canon Company printer is fabulous. I love it. But um, not really, because now with we've brought the church up to automation, you might say. Mm -hmm. um, unless there's a special time or a special project, that if we did a mass mailing, yes. But then I would definitely call people and say, help. Oh, good. I'm not, I'm not afraid to ask for help. Trust me. But I've. I've really enjoyed the, all the people that the congregation here is so loving and caring and um, they don't say anything like one time I put the wrong date on the bulletin, I forgot to erase it and put the new one in. And they said, bulletin was interesting, Maud. Um, remember what the date is for next week. <laughs> We, we do have a good conversation. I, I really, I mean, from the women to the men, and the kids are delightful. They really are. The two little boys at Acolyte here on Sundays are, they're the bomb. Yeah, they're, and I know that COVID has changed quite a bit, and uh, trying to get more children back into the church, you know, basically, yeah. so. It's hard. COVID was... We, we did some things out of the box, and I was surprised Pastor allowed me to do it. Um, he said, how are we going to get people communion? And I said, we're having drive-through. He said, what? I said, we're going to do drive-through. And, and it worked well. And it worked it. well, mm -hmm. and we had people from, you name the denomination, and they came. Mm -hmm. And I... I kind of like that because the way the world is going we need as Christians to think outside of the box to bring people in it's not you can't be the cookie cutter church anymore mm -hmm. you have to progress and um, think of the people you're dealing with I mean COVID is just some people are still afraid to come out, mm -hmm. so it's it's hard. It's hard on everybody. It really is. You see it in the faces of the mothers dropping their kids off at Little Lambs and um, and fathers, and the kids even. You know, it's so. I'm the first one. If they want help, I'm it, <laughs> and I direct everybody. There they go. Well, I'm sure all you know really appreciate you. I know the pastor and staff, and because uh, I work with you quite a bit, and I know you know you're constantly busy and on the move. So uh, 
Let's say a quick prayer here. Sure. <clears throat> Dear Lord, our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the multiple blessings that you bestow upon us each and every day. We thank you, Lord, for Maud and all that she does for the church here. We pray, Lord, that you will bless her and her family, keep them in good health, keep her motivated, Lord, to follow your direction in, in helping as she uh, is the administrator uh, of the church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, okay. Well, thank you, Mike. You're I think welcome. It went well,